Hey everyone, it's Lisa Van Gammer and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite little easy PowerPoint hacks that will make it so that you never have to have any more bullet points and your slides look really cool with very little effort. And I'm specifically talking about use for teachers, but anybody can do it. So this is what I'm talking about. And I've been getting these questions because of the live streaming classes that I've been doing on YouTube. And some of the teachers who've been watching have been noticing like, wait, how are you doing those graphics? And it's totally free and really easy. So this is what they mean. So I've got, instead of bullet points, then you see I've got these different colors and I've got the, the text here with this graphic. Here's another example of it. And these are actual examples from, from the class. So let me show you how how this is done. So I have a couple of ways I can do it. I'm going to show you just starting from scratch that I will click on insert. And then what this is, is smart art. It's here in the illustrations part of this ribbon. I click smart art. Now the default then is to go to all and all of the different smart art options are here. The ones that I work with usually are here under list. And so here's that one, right? I just click OK. I click on it, choose OK. I can bring it out to the edge here. Um, I can move it around and it all stays in one piece as, as long as you see this whole outside box is selected. I can click here to change colors. And so there you go. I can type in anything I want, anything um, you want to type right okay and so i um and i can adjust them individually but i can also adjust them all together just depending on what i'm selecting and i definitely can change the fonts i can do all kinds of stuff with this i can change the color of individual ones even though i have already chosen a color i can always go back and change it i can do all kinds of things with the color and design. And I don't really want to spend too much time on that because what I'm really trying to focus on is showing you in general how it works. So I can though change this if I wanted to. So I can, um, let's say I don't actually want a circle. I can right click on the circle and change the shape. And one of my favorites to do is to change it to this right arrow. And then look what that looks like. Isn't that kind of cool? Especially if I bring it just a little bit over and so then it goes to the edge, right? And you can change any of them. Again, I'm right clicking and then I'm choosing a different shape and I could choose any shape I wanted to. Um, and, and that's just kind of fun. You can also, um, well, obviously you can format the shape here so I can fill the shape with a color if I want to or even a picture of some kind. And I can add, uh, you can add text in here. I will tell you that for me, what I prefer to do is to insert a text box. It just gives me a little bit more control. And to do that, I would just do insert text box. And then I would type in like, let's say I want a number one. And so I would just type that number one and then I would move that on top of here. And obviously I would want a larger font for that. But I prefer, to use text boxes rather than to put the text in the shape. I just feel like it gives me a little bit more control. So that's how essentially I make these, right? You just saw it. I didn't do anything special to this one, but you have a lot more control than it seems. All right, so that's creating one from scratch, but watch this little trick. Okay, so I have this, let me, let me just start from totally nothing. Insert text box and I'll say, I have my first choice, second choice, and third choice. And I am hitting the enter key at the end of all of these, fourth choice. Okay, so I've typed all of these in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here under paragraph. I'm not even on the insert tab now. I'm still on the home tab. This is a convert to smart art. And so it will let me take that text box and convert it into smart art right from that text box. So boom, right? And now I just drag it out. I can make it as big as I want. I can do the same thing with color. And so I started with a text box and then I just converted it to smart art from there. Let me show you that one more time, just in case you're like, whoa, wait a minute, my life just changed, right? So let me get a new slide again. I'm going to insert 
text box. So there's my text box. First, second, third, fourth, whatever text you want to say, right? Whatever text you want to type. And then I'm going to click this smart art icon here and choose the smart art graphic that I want. And in this case, well, let's just choose a different one just so you can see how it goes. And then now I, again, if I grab it at the corner, I can resize it out pretty large. Um, and then I can change the colors here to whatever I want. And I have another video, I'll link it in the description box below, but I have another video that shows how to change the color palette in, in Microsoft. So if you want different colors to choose from. And so there you go, and you can edit this as you like. All right, so let me show you one other one. So let, let's look at how you do this one. This is just a different smart art, but you'll see here that this, this looks different. So let me show you what I did there. Okay, so in this case, what I had was, let me, I'll start from scratch on this one. Insert smart art, and let me go find a, um, that one, there it is. Here we go. And so it looks like this to start out with, and this is just nothing to write home about, right? But I can make some changes. So I can change the color if I want. So let's do that. And then I can change this shape. And so again, I can change the shape to be a totally different shape. Like some of these are kind of fun. I could do a call out, right? And that's kind of cute. All right. Um, but I can also then fill that shape. And I would do that here under Format Shape. So again, I right clicked on the shape and then I click Format Shape. And I'm gonna fill it with a picture or texture fill. Do you see how that opened up, that format picture opened up over here? And I'm gonna insert a picture and I'm going to use one of the backgrounds that I have. And in the one that I showed you, I used my glitter backgrounds. So I will put, that was orange, right? I think it was orange. Um, and then there we go. Now my box is orange. And let's say now I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this isn't matching. And so I can come here and click the eyedropper and I can go grab that exact color. And now it will even match. Let me show you again how I did that. I selected this shape. See, I have that shape selected. And then over here in the format shape box, which was already open um, because I had formatted this shape. If it hadn't been open, let's see, watch, I'll show you, I'll close it. So I'm gonna right click here and go down to format shape and then that will open. And then under the color, I did the eyedropper and selected a color from in here. So let me do another one of these shapes so that you can see what I mean. Okay, so I've got this shape and the format shape box opened, but if it hadn't, I would just right click and scroll down to format shape. I'm gonna choose picture or texture fill, and then I'm going to insert the picture from a file on my computer. And you could insert any picture that you have or want. I'm using one of the backgrounds and the glitter backgrounds, now I don't remember what color that is, I think green, um, and I think more of this green then I love those glitter backgrounds. And actually, let me show you where I got them. They are from Teachers Pay Teachers, and I'll link this product below, but it was $3 for all of these beautiful glitter papers, and I use them a lot. So I'll link that. No, that's not an affiliate link of any kind. It's just, I like it. And then again, I can do the color, and I can do eyedropper, and I can come over here until I get that green, and then now it will match. And so that's how I do it. Now, some people were interested in this box. Um, do you see how this shape kind of has a almost a handwritten look? That's something new, or well, let me say new-ish, right? So I'm gonna insert a shape and I will do one of the call outs. So here we go, I'll do this one. And there's my call out box. And the way that I give it that outline, is that here under shape outline, do you see how it says sketched? I can choose that. And when I do that sketched outline, it gives me that really nice kind of wavy feel. And I like to give it a little bit, I find it works best with a little bit thicker point, right? So I could make the outline any color I want and I can make the fill any color I want. And that's how I get that kind of um, 
handwritten look that feels a little bit more approachable and there are several of them. That one, the sketched one to me is just a little much. I like this one. So that's how you do those. I mean, it, it looks fancy, but you see it's so easy either to create from scratch or just by clicking insert smart art or to type a text box and make it. Now, I will say that it takes a little bit of practice, right? Just like anything else. And I hope that you find it useful. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I will be sure to get back with you.